you how to download, install, and configure Astro Multi Seat software on a Windows 10 system. So the first thing you need to do is you need to download uh, the 30-day free trial. You can come through the link on my website or you can go straight to the Astro website. So once you're there, you will click on the 30-day free trial and you will click on the download button. It's about 20 megs in size and that'll download pretty quick for you. There's also uh, a user guide which you can look at here which explains how to install as well. So I've already got it downloaded on my desktop and I will install that next. The step is to actually install the software. So simply uh, execute that uh, the download. Select OK. Next, next. Agree to the terms. I usually leave it at the default location. And the install takes less than a minute. So that's all done. It's going to ask you to restart your computer, and I will uh, I will come back once it's uh, the PC is rebooted. Okay, so once the PC is rebooted, um, it comes to this screen here. I have my uh, connected my second uh, display, which is why I have two terminals activated here. Then you're going to want to go to the terminal tab, and you can see I have two terminals, and you want to assign them to uh, one to each terminal. You can see I don't have any other keyboard and mouse attached yet. I will attach those right now. And you will see they actually, when you plug them in, they flash, they indicate which ones were just plugged in. And when you use them, they indicate as well which is which. So you can drag over the desired keyboard and mouse to the other terminal. If you have sound, um, sound cards or microphones, you can also assign those to each terminal. For this demonstration, I'll just put anywhere, anyone, anywhere. Under the extended settings, this is where you would actually enable Aster and reboot. And before we do that, under the general settings, if you want your workstations, your terminals to automatically start on Windows, you're going to want to check this button. So, at this point, we are going to enable Aster and reboot, and uh, we'll come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, so the PC has rebooted, and we can see that each terminal is now active. From the general, it's enabled. And from this screen, you can see now we have a disable button if we wanted to disable Aster. So at this point, you can do a live um, keyboard, mouse, sound card swapping. You don't have to uh, disable Aster for that. You would just have to disable Aster if you want to make any kind of monitor swaps. Um, yep, yeah, so that's it. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know. As always, we'll have uh, up to 25% off discounts at onehome1pc.com. Thanks for watching.